victorious I overcome in his name Going forth like a mighty wind Shaking the heavens and earth I'm gonna roll It's a sound of victory I'm gonna roar It's praise unto my God Lift up a shout And say I am on the winning side Oh, I'm more than a conqueror that's who you are, remember that. Hey guys, it's Jason here. I'm back again with our creative process. Uh, today I have a wonderful guest with me. I've got Sister Louisa. Um, Sister Louisa, she's a, uh, she's a wonderful person. I've known Louisa for about 10 years now. and More thereabouts, then. And uh, we've done quite a lot of stuff together creatively. So I'm yeah. really glad to have you come and talk to us on our uh, creative process. Say hi to our listeners. Hi right? everybody, it's me. Yes, it's you. Yes, it's you. Uh, Louise, I had to go uh, through a lot to get here, so yeah. I'm really thankful that you, you made that time. Uh, so yes, creative process. Uh, we're here to talk about your process as a creative. Um, can you share some ideas and uh, tell us how does your your creative day looks like on any given day? Ooh. Yeah. First of all, thanks for having me. You're welcome. Yay. You. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. Jason, we go back. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. <laughs> and um, it's great to be on this journey together. So thanks for having me again. Yeah, so um, I will say, okay, first of all, these days I like to introduce myself mm -hmm. like this. L-O-U-W-W-E-Z-A-R. Now, the reason I've done that is because yeah. that was not how it was before. Okay. So okay. creativity for me, I just think is something everybody has been apportioned to by God. Because God in all Trinity, God, Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, is a creative being. Okay. From beginning, when he said, let there be, mm -hmm. you know, that's where it all started. And then when he said, let's make man mm -hmm. in our own image we were given a little portion of that on the inside of us. And I believe everyone's got the creative ability, the creative power right. to uh, to bring things to life to or to give birth to something. Okay. Um, so creativity or a day of creativity mm. will look like just from waking up, really. You know, some days you wake up and it's your leg that gets out of the bed first. <laughs> exactly. Other days it's maybe your hand. <laughs> So all of that is all part of being creative. Definitely. But how we use that to maybe become something yeah. is what I think we're talking about today. Okay. Yeah. So um, for me, I don't necessarily set out that today is going to be a creative day. Okay. okay. So for me, it's um, just, I think, taking a step back, especially if your day is routine, okay. if you've got schedules, if you've got diaries, you've got meetings and yeah. all that, yeah. you can easily fail to see the creativity in it but you being able to put schedules in place yeah. is a creative ability you know and creative. then to pull it off and then have a full day and ra round up your day yeah. so um i i would just say for me it's about taking a step back okay. to realize that okay today has been a full day okay. what did i do different or what did i do the same and sometimes even re repetition is creativity yeah. it can be creativity yeah. Um, so it, it takes it takes a different shape each day. Okay. Um, how I would put that into maybe music, mm -hmm. uh, that's another story for another day. Yeah. Uh, and just a little bit of that would I would say um, the other day I think I was I, I normally I would maybe just get a song just as I'm walking or okay. but I haven't had that in a while and usually when it happens is maybe I'm not too in connection with myself on the because I'm just getting on with life, getting on with the day. Mm -hmm. But then when I just take a minute and I hear a tune in my heart or in my spirit, mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, 
that's a nice song. And that's because I took a pause. Mm-hmm. I just had, like the Bible says, Sila. Yeah, I d- quiet moment. Yeah, yeah, quiet moment. To be able to just hear the whispers or just hear something. It could even be the honking of a horn that yeah. the boss driving by the house. And like, oh, that sounds like, mm, 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 mm. Or, something you know, and that's it. You know, so it's, I think it's really just having having the, the grace to okay. stop. Okay. And because we are in an ongoing world is no, continuous okay. stopping is not really a natural thing no, now no, it isn't. but then we forget that even god stopped yeah, yeah. he we said after we've done all this now can we just rest <laughs> you know take, take a minute, minute you know so i i think it's quite intentional that in especially in the psalms we have that sila 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. it's to remind us that there are moments that we need to just okay. pause amazing wow your creative day sounds very extensive <laughs> Yeah, now that we talked about it, yeah, a little bit, yeah, yeah, yeah. Waking um, up now with style. <laughs> so, mm. uh, talk to us about your music journey. Uh, when did you start doing this? I mean, uh, um, singing. I know you do double up a little bit with the instruments. Uh, when did yeah. you uh, feel like okay, I'm gonna take this mm. path um, in my life? Go, mm. with, go with creativity. Obviously, it's not. Yeah. It's not an easy choice coming mm-hmm. from uh, parents who could be. Uh, of course, some parents are not that you know, uh, open-minded to say, yeah. oh, yeah, go and be a singer. It's okay. <laughs> but you need to be a doctor. Yeah. That's right. You know, so Get that was, degree. <laughs> how was your journey? Um, so music has always been part of my family upbringing and all of that. So that's, uh, thankfully, but that that was not, that was not automatic permission for you to go start doing music as okay. a career. Okay. Um, so I would say being part of all, you know, from a young age, the performance troops and, uh, the community choir, everything local was great, you know, and it was just encouraging that development on the inside. Become a creative person. Right. You're a part of a drama. You're part of the dance. Yeah. You're part of the choir, you know, mm-hmm. and then you go into the religious uh, front, you know, in yeah. church. You then join the choir, youth choir, children's choir, all of that. Sunday school. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We're always singing. Yeah, yeah. Great. And then we have performances, Christmas, mm-hmm. Easter, all that stuff was great. Um, but I would say... I didn't consciously go into it. I didn't like say, I am going to be a recording artist. I'm going to be a gospel yeah. singer. Yeah. No. no, because if I had a choice, I won't do it because yeah. it's a lot of responsibility. Yeah. And especially if you want to, that's, you know, because I do gospel music, I won't, I can't take away the gospel from what it is. Music. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So for me, I just feel it's a massive responsibility. You're trying to say, oh, I heard this song or I've created this song and this song is meant to be a blessing. Mm-hmm. It's meant to be a gift to the world, meant to be a gift to people that listen to it. It's a massive responsibility because you're claiming, you know, that you've you've received something, you know, yeah, from above yeah, or yeah, wherever yeah. you decide to receive yeah, it from. Yeah. Either way, you you know, there's a responsibility of, I, I want to put this together. It's like a puzzle. Mm-hmm. You put it together and you want to put it out there. And I don't want that responsibility okay. because I feel like, you know, with every responsibility, you have to then give account. Yeah, and, you know, that's why I say I did not go into it like, yeah, I want to do this right. because yeah. I I don't know any. If I, if I meet anyone that tells me they did that, then I want to know you more. Mm-hmm. Because for me, I feel like it's something that you have to have a release. You have to have the backing okay. from above because if you go where no one sent you, mm-hmm. you're going to need to uh, address it yourself. Who sent you? Yeah. You know, who said, but then if I have someone, I know that, okay, when I had the release, I had, you know, the knowing or I had a, just that conviction that, okay, God asked me to do this or God gave me a leading to do this. Then I know who to go cry to when I start having problems, yeah, yeah. when I feel restrictions or I feel these challenges I may face. Oh, okay. But I thought you asked me to release this. song. I thought you gave me a song. I thought you gave me a word, you know, stuff like that. You know, so for me, it got to a point where, um, I would say. I originally started writing from a very, very young age songs. I used to write songs. Um, Singing was always from time immemorial. Um, Officially, I would say, you know, in the the 2000s. Yeah, yes. (laughs) In the year 2000s. Around that time, I started playing with the idea, toying with the idea. Uh, Went into studio with a friend of mine. Um, And then, you know, we started. And even some of those songs, I've not released those songs yet. They're not even part of the songs I ever released as one of the, mm-hmm. you know, first tracks out yeah, there. Yeah. And it just didn't fly. Okay. Because, and now when I look back, in hindsight, it wasn't the right time. Okay. And I, I felt disappointed then that, mm-hmm. oh, all this hard work, nothing came of it. I couldn't even, you know, complete it. Completing mean I didn't go into actual yeah. 
studio to get it recorded. I just got it recorded in my home setup, oh. you know, home studio. Yeah. Um, so f at that point in time, I thought, but I didn't know God had other plans. Uh -huh. So by 20, 2016, 2017, mm -hmm. I started getting that urge again, yeah. like, okay, this is the season. <laughs> yeah, this yeah. might be the time, you know, and um I remember we also worked on um, the the perfume, yeah, the yeah, ad, yeah, the you ad, know, yes. all that sort of started getting the ground ready. Yeah, like, yeah, come on, yeah. get ready to get ready to move. And then by 2017, I'd gone into the studio to record a song that was written more than how many <laughs> years ago. So, you know, it, it, it was just something about understanding the process okay. and allowing God to lead me. Because if I went by my own timing, then I would have just done what I, what I, what I wanted to do. Yeah. Um, so around that time, got back into got back into the studio. Mm -hmm. um, and then I think 2018 was when the first track was released officially. Yeah. Um, and since then, you know, just keep doing it as doing yeah, it we keep it coming. I keep remember the coming. Uh, up and zip to your high and lift it up. High and yeah, you hashtag halu. It's, it's, it's on my playlist as we, as we, as we <laughs> speak. You know, I, I love yeah. that song. Um, so uh, in in your creative uh, day whatever space yeah. do you tend to work with people or you rather work by yourself which one is more comfortable oh i wouldn't say either is more comfortable there's no comparison to okay. be honest with you because there are seasons that you will need to work with people okay. that's how i see it okay. um there's because you need to know yourself mm -hmm. um there are people who got to know who they are musically as an artist or whatever by working with people yeah. but yeah. there are also people who got to know who they are by discovering where they are where their strengths are by, okay. you know, making mistakes on their own and then, mm. you know, learning. So I, with me creatively, um, we all need each other. No one's an island. Yeah, That's one. Yeah, yeah. Um, there are steps in the process that you will need to be on your own. Like you need to okay. do something on your own and then you, the other people come in where um, I, somewhere in Ecclesiastes where said two are better than one. Yeah. yeah. So d it's necessary. It, see, I say this all the time. I wasn't planning on saying it, but I just remembered now. Um, even God is not alone. Mm, definitely. He's got company. Yeah, yeah. He's a trinity. Yeah, yeah. Try, you know, try you is try or yeah. yeah. He's he's got company. So how much more you? Yeah. Exactly. So without all the powers. Thank you. you. How much more, more you? Yeah. So anyone who thinks they can do it by themselves, you can't. There's a, a saying. I think it's a quote about if you want to go far, mm. go by yourself. Or if you want to go farthest or something yeah, yeah, yeah you know bring people along i'm, I'm pro probably paraphrasing it it goes something like yeah. that but yeah there's a there's a time for every just as the bible says i'm sorry i gotta have keep re referencing the bible yeah. that's that's what i live by yeah, you know that, there's a season and a time for everything yeah. and there's a time to work with people mm -hmm. so the question is how do you choose those mm -hmm. people is the okay. question all right so it's more about the, the the kind of company that you want to keep yes in, in that season yeah um do you then when you're writing, do you get other people to come and write specifically? Yeah. Um, writing your music, do you get people to inject ideas? Let's say like lyrics. Yeah. Like when we talk about mm. writing songs, uh, words. Lyrics. Yes. Yes. Do you ever have people inputing ideas on board? Or um. Do you rather write by yourself? I think it, there's there's a there's a place for co-writing. Okay. Co -writing. Yeah. Okay. So there are songs that need um, an injection of maybe someone else just to give it a bit of oomph um no, I think, le let me rephrase it yeah do you then have it checked by someone else for not validation but for correctness mm. uh, in your writing do you ever have that uh, do you have um. people that report to you and say what do you think of this is it sound is it something that you think is it can be put up yeah i think it's something uh, it really it really depends on okay. individuals yeah. yeah because there's no right or wrong way okay um uh, because I'm even I'm even thinking back now on some of the songs I've written, and I never had a time where I thought, oh, let me check. What do you you know what I mean? Okay, okay. Um, but I I I'm not saying that is that is something people shouldn't do. Okay, okay. Um, there are people who have who have that all they do is this they write songs. They are songwriters. Yeah, yeah. You will never hear them sing. No, no. You will never hear them do any vocals. They are songwriters. Mm -hmm. And if you're gifted to have connection to such people, then maximize it. Yeah. I, that's the way I see it. I've not had people around me that will say, oh, this person is a prolific mm -hmm. songwriter. Let me send my work to them. Mm -hmm. um, would I prescribe it? 
it really depends. It depends on if you're if you're looking for a co-writer because in that instance, when you invite someone in, you are then co-writing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you want to co-write, then you invite. Yeah, yeah, then you go for it. But then if you if you have friends who are not necessarily songwriters and you think, oh, how does this sound to you? Are you singing it to them or are you reading it to them? Because yeah. I've had people also send me stuff and say, hey, Louisa, check this out. What do you? How do you see this? And and for me. Unless they invite me to contribute, contribute, I don't contribute. What I do is I tell them what the impact or the effect of what I've read okay. and how I interpret it to me. Okay. So those are two things. So you can see there. Yeah, see so it. if you're inviting someone to contribute mm -hmm. lyrically, mm -hmm. then that is a co-writing. And that is an agreement. You are saying we are co-writers. Mm -hmm. But then if you're saying I'm sending it to you, can you check it out? Mm -hmm. Are you asking me to check it out for grammar? Are you asking me to check it out for composition or, you know, so you've got to be clear. Okay. I think it's important. You've got to be clear so that then you're not, you're not crossing boundaries. You're not, you know, then if the person gives you what you didn't ask for, mm -hmm. you might get offended. Yeah. So you've got to be clear. Are you asking someone to come on as a co-write? Mm -hmm. Are you asking someone to just check it out for you if there's synergy? Yeah. You know, is it lyrically balanced or, you know, stuff like that. So there's so many aspects to it. All I hear is you're very protective of your work. That's all good. Yeah. <laughs> That's perfect. That's absolutely true because, you know, it, it's it's a matter of, you know, if if, if it's a co-write, then great. But if, if, you know, if I take it somewhere, and, and this is something I've uh, encountered. I've, I've had producers who've asked, okay, so what do you want me to do on this project? Okay. If I say, oh, I've got a project, I need you, would you be able to produce something? They always ask me something. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to co-write? Is it, is it for lyrics? Mm -hmm. do you, so I've realized that, Okay, so this thing yeah, these different. things are different. They're separate. So, so I always make it clear. I said, no, the song's ready. Mm -hmm. I just need a yeah, co-producer because okay. I already have the sounds. I know what I want here. I know. What I, so I'm like, would you like to co-produce? Okay. That's how. That's where I am now. I wasn't there before, guys. I'm not saying this is how I've always sure, been. Bef I've out. grown, and that's yeah. because I've encountered personalities. I've encountered characters that have yeah. given me, that have empowered me to say, oh, actually, no, you've this, what you brought is ready. Yeah. So that, that's important. I think the the people who you encounter on your journey can either build you or break you if you allow them, if you allow them. Because I've encountered producers that have said, actually, you didn't really need me to produce this work because you can't, all I've done is just done exactly what you said. Yeah, it's, it's ready. It's, you know, but then there are people you go, you go with a blank slate. I don't have, I only have a tune. That's what someone said. And then they work together and get the lyrics. They get So for me, it depends on where you are. Not everyone can come with a full song. No, 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 no. And sometimes I don't even have a full song. Mm -hmm. The song may just be uh, a two lines. Mm -hmm. And then after a while, I get it. But there are seasons where, that's why I said there are seasons where this, yeah. these things come into play. Mm -hmm. Not, you know, you don't have to say, I'm going to look for someone. Mm -hmm. Check where you are at. Where are you in your journey? Are you... Are you trying to learn how to write? If you're trying to learn how to write, go for songwriting lessons. Go for the, go for the. I've I've been on 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 coaching songwriting coaches, um, coaching lessons and stuff like. In my early days, I didn't, you know, and whether I needed it or not, I don't, I didn't know. I just went to be enlightened. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. that's what I would advise. Yeah, yeah, that is very helpful because you have that in your arsenal, isn't it? When yeah. You, when you need it. Yeah. Um, there's a there's a topic that I always uh, bring up when I mm. have anyone here um talking with me, um. Mental health is sort of yeah. it's, it's an issue, you know. Um, yeah. I, I really sort of have to fill you in before we talk. Go we, on. That we're going to talk about it. Yeah. Uh, I do that with everybody. So as a creative, I know there are some, you know, some dark moments mm. in, our, in our journey that yeah. when it comes to writing, uh, yeah. especially. So how do you deal with moments of um, uh, nothingness mm. you know, in your mind? Yeah. And do you ever get stressed? And how do you deal with stress? In yeah. those moments, um, maybe you're feeling you're feeling alone, and, yeah. and the creativity is not really popping up. Yeah. So how do you balance all of that with just being? I'm sure you still work. You have a day job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep things going. Yeah. And how do you balance all of that? Well, I'm glad you said you talked about job. I was going to say even the social media life. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. it's a world. The social media world does not help. No, no, it doesn't. You know, um, because there are times when you think you're all right. I'm good. This is my season of nothingness. <laughs> this is my season of quiet. Yeah. And then your neighbor on social media decided they're releasing five songs in a row. Uh, why? What has happened? Yeah. <laughs> Suddenly you're not thinking, when was the last time I wrote this song? Yeah. I can't even remember when. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's it's a good thing these things are happening around us. Okay. However, you know, you also need to check yourself, examine yourself. Okay. Um, 
is it an intentional quietness? Is it you that just put your foot off the brake? You know, the, the gas, as they say in America, the gas. Mm -hmm. You know, the accelerator over here, isn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, is it you? Mm -hmm. Or is just this is just a quiet season? It's just a natural pause in your, in your season of creativity. How do you work it out? Okay, yeah. so for me, mm -hmm. how I work it out is I, I go back to the source. Okay. So that's why I started at the beginning. Who sent you? Yeah. Who sent you to write songs? <laughs> if yeah. you sent yourself, go back to yourself and ask yourself, yeah. what's your problem? <laughs> yeah. am, I, am I being envious mm -hmm. of my fellow yeah. neighbor? Yeah. Or I've lost touch of what I'm supposed to be? Because it all, it, the, it, all, the, it starts with you. Okay. It's on Whatever's on the inside works its way out. So that inside tremblings, all that questions, all that envious and everything, you need to deal with it on the inside. So that's why I say I always go back to the source. I always go and say, Lord, is it, is it that I've lost, you know, touch? Am I not hearing from you anymore? Or is it I'm not spending time? Because I feel like if you spend time with, if it's, it's like a relationship, isn't it? if you spend time with the person, then even before the person finishes the sentence, you know what they're about to say or you know what's on their heart because... The, the mumblings, their their unsettledness, you hear it, you feel it, you know, because you're spending time with yeah. someone. If you sit in a car with someone on a journey, mm -hmm. you know when they are uneasy, mm -hmm. you know, stuff like that. So um, for me, I go back to the source. And how can I tell the difference? I tell the difference this way. If I go back to the source and I'm, I mean, my God, we're good. Mm -hmm. God is saying, okay. well, all right. No, Louisa, you're good. You're right, you're right where I need you to, to okay. be. Okay. And how do you do It's through the word. You need to read the word. You need to spend time. With, you need, there's a peace. Okay, I'll put it that way. There's a settling in my, in my knowing. Yeah, so to know the difference, whether it's, you know, just a me thing or, a, you know, or me on my journey, figuring out if God, you know, is keeping me in a quiet season. Yeah, yeah what I do is I just, like I said, I check. I just have this knowing. And I was trying to describe... Um, that knowing could be, like to put it practically, if you're walking through an alleyway, dark alleyway, yeah. and it's dark, and you're, you're, not, you're not worried that anything will happen to you, you just have this knowing that, no, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I'm going to come out on the other side. That's how I know mm -hmm. that, okay, me and God, I've examined myself, me and God, God is fine with me, I'm fine with God. So, okay, that means then I should come to the other side. It's a me thing. Okay. So I start questioning, am I comparing myself? Am I feeling, you know, vulnerable? Am I you know, feeling all the work I've done is not enough. So that's the comparison. It's just basically, summary is a comparison spirit. Okay. And I need to find what is feeding it and cut it off. So if it's social media, maybe you need to come off it for a bit. Oh. Yeah. If it's um, the maybe what you're hearing, mm -hmm. then maybe there's some people you need to stop talking to for a season. Okay. Because whatever's feeding it is making it bigger than it needs to be in that time. Have you got any music out that uh, that people can buy? Have you got an album, an EP? What have you got going? Yeah, okay. So I have an, no album yet. The album is yet to be released. Okay. Um, but I currently have, I already have three three tracks out. Mm -hmm. um, two on its way. Okay. Hopefully, maybe by the time you're hearing this, it will be out by then. Okay. We'll yeah. see. Hopefully, yeah. by the grace yeah, of yeah, God. Yeah. Um, and then the album, I'm, to be honest with you, I'm, I'm traveling on a journey. Okay. And when it's right, it will be the right time. Okay. However, there was a period I was on it. This album has to drop. This album has yeah. to drop. Mm -mm. I've discovered that that's not where God that. is. Because currently, even the two tracks which will be coming out, mm -hmm. one is from the album that we've been talking about okay. coming soon. Yeah. And one is from actually a project, which is another album. Okay. So there are two tracks from two different albums that I've not yet released. So I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm like, Lord, what are you doing? <laughs> but I'm just journeying with God and I'm yeah. trusting him and... Um, I'm loving the way it's. This, the, it looks okay. good, okay. and I think it would. It looks a lot better than the way if I'd planned it. So I'm trusting him. Okay. Can can you be bought? Can you buy it if you want to? Buy yes. It? So it's on all the digital platforms: okay. iTunes, Spotify, Amazon, every music platform you have out there. YouTube, you can find me on there, okay. um, under my name. Yeah. L O U W W E Z A R Louisa. I might use that as, uh, as an intro. Ooh, that I'm going to copyright that, <laughs> patent it. Mm -mm -mm. Um, so, <laughs> how many songs have you got out? So, I've got three songs out currently okay. and two on its way. And then you said iTunes, Amazon. Amazon, YouTube, uh, Spotify. Spotify, follow me on Spotify. Yeah, yeah that's you want a good place. To follow on Instagram? 
Yeah, <laughs> if you feel led, <laughs> the truth is I have good content. You yeah, know, I'm yeah. just, you know, just connect. That's how I say it. Connect with me Amazing. and I connect with you. Amazing. Um, okay, can I ask you to just maybe um, yes. give us maybe two two things or three things that you can say to the youth, let's say people that, you know, uh, were, uh, uh, where you were some 10 years ago yeah. about to give up. Because obviously the social, yeah. social media, again, <laughs> it's not really, it's not a real place apparently. Yeah. Um, so they see that and then they don't see themselves as qualified to yeah. do anything and they're about to give up. So yeah. talk to maybe a Louisa like some 20 years ago, yeah. 15 years ago. What kind of advice can you provide? Uh, well, straight off, social media is a tool. Mm -hmm. Use it. That's all I'm going to say. Okay. I'm not going to tell you to avoid it. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to tell you to ignore it. I'm going to tell you to use it. When I first released, in fact, I didn't, I didn't even know Instagram existed. Mm -hmm. And eventually, I was like, people was like, you got to go on Instagram if you're going to try and get music out there. Yeah. So, and at the time I was releasing music, I only had like a hundred followers, <laughs> and I didn't feel daunted by it because I came into the thing novice like, like, oh, I've got people I know on here. I've got friends, you know. So I was like, yay. But it's no, it's a different world. So use it as a tool. Don't use it as a friendship uh, uh, magnet or anything. It's a it's a world on its own, mm -hmm. and you need to learn how to navigate it. Okay. And what I would say is keep your integrity, mm -hmm. and uh, to there a you go. Step. So step by step, just take it easy on yourself. I don't take yourself too seriously. Yeah, oh, no, come no, on, no, chill. <laughs> Relax. And, uh, <laughs> um, uh, we, we've been chatting with Louisa for more than 30 minutes now. Oh, and, wow. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't want us to go on because we can stay here for another two hours. We well, Actually, we can. <laughs> we have a lot to talk about. <laughs> but uh, I wanted to thank you for coming on and, and just chatting with me um, for the last half an hour and just giving you uh, your wisdom. And I hope you guys learned a thing or two as I did. And uh, I hope to speak with you guys soon again on yeah. our next one. And we're going to keep them coming. And also, you're going to be uh, seeing Louisa soon on other projects we're working on. So we're really excited about that. We are. Otherwise, thank you for coming. Thank you so much for having me, Jason. Thank you. Thank you.